Yo, what's up YouTube? Welcome to my channel. I'm Max and today I'm gonna show you how to build a toggle checkbox in Webflow. Super easy, will take less than 50 minutes and I would say let's jump right into it. Okay, so I'm here in my Webflow project. Just gonna show you real quick what we're gonna build today. Okay, so this is the beautiful form and we got this like checkbox with a tiny little bit of animation and then we can submit it. Okay, no further ado, let's go. Okay, let's build this out. Get some diff and another diff in here. Okay, so those are my containers basically wrapping this entire page. That is why this the page wrapper and next, my main wrapper. I'm just gonna build this because basically with those containers, you can just copy paste it to any page and recycle it as much as you want. Okay, so I prepared a section here. I will explain in a minute what it is and what it does. So. I have like a master section that is composed out of a few diffs. Those diffs help me to wrap all this content and make it responsive throughout my site and also helps me really easy to change something on a global level. Okay, I'll explain it really quick. So here I set this one particularly up for 100 uh, 100 viewpoint height just to get the full screen. And the next one is my section wrapper. It is just like a helper wrapper basically, but it's just set to flexbox, 100%, doesn't do much really. So then I have a padding global that acts padding to left and right throughout all device sizes. And I have a container medium, which I have usually a few containers like large, medium, small, and this is depends on the content I want to put in there. My medium container is a block article reading, so it's comfortable on a desktop screen to read well. Okay, then I have a padding large that is doing nothing else than adding padding on the top and bottom, and eventually my content form where I'm going to put all my content and I prepared it just with like a padding all around. Okay, let's build out the form and the checkbox. By the way, if you wonder how do I get this window, it's command E on Mac. Okay, that looks good out of the box. I'm just going to add some checkbox right here. Let's Put it here. Perfect. Okay. The content form, I want to get some more contrast to the background. Let's get it maybe like a little darker gray here. It actually looks quite good already. Let's style this real quick. This is a form input. Just going to give it a border radius of 8. Same here. Um, just add some classes. Let's make this button pretty. Let's give it a class first. It's the form button. I want to have this bad boy 100%. No, not 100 and 100% 100 width. So it looks equal. Okay. Little border radius. Okay, let's give this some color. Okay, give this like a nice green color here and maybe the font is it's more like this. Okay, this already looks really good, but we're here for the checkbox. I'm gonna just pop in some text right here. Guys, this is already developing really well. It looks good. It start looking good. Okay. Cool. So how do you style the checkbox? This is actually pretty simple. 
and can be done in a very few steps. So first of all, we're going to do proof 56 width and a height of 32. It's going to be quite a big one. You can resize it whatever you want. This is just for illustration purposes. Okay, I want to give this a background, maybe the gray here. Uh, but nothing is happening. Okay, why is that? That's to be expected. We have to go on the right top corner here, set the style from default to customs and bam, here we go. We have a beautiful gray rectangle that looks like nothing really. But let's give it some rounding and we're getting a little bit closer, but we're not there, there yet. We're getting there though. Okay, what we're gonna do, as we saw here, we wanna have this like nice toggling feature. I prepared two SVGs, so one with an X and one with a check. SVG helps me to resize it to whatever I want, and I definitely recommend using SVGs in this case. Okay, so with mine, it is 26 and 26 pixels. We're gonna set the tile here. Oh, can you see this? Yeah, good. We're gonna set the tile to X, and then we need to, we wanna have it three pixels apart from the left and 50% centered. This already looks really good. Almost there. I would say let's make this also look a little bit prettier. Just flexbox it and let's go. Okay, let's give some margin here. I like 0.5 REM to get the same distance between everywhere. So now we have like five on the bottom here. So I don't want that, but that's fine. And here we also have five. Actually, it doesn't want to have zero. So now here, this is not what I wanted. So let's do it like just like one REM. And yeah, let's just keep it with zero here and one here. Well, they're not there. Okay, 0.5. Yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, let's do the check state. We're gonna go on your selector, check, select, checked, and it looks horrible. But no problem, we're gonna fix this real quick. We're gonna throw out this ugly picture that's in there and throw in our checkbox and it still looks ugly. We go on custom, give it the same height and width and it looks much better, just not where we wanted it to be. Okay, so left now, according to my calculations, it is 26 pixels and 50% on the top. That's exactly how I want it to look. So let's get some confirmation color. Maybe the same as the button. Looks good. Let's preview this and we're almost done. It looks pretty good. That's how I wanted it. Let's add some animations so it doesn't look like that clunky. Okay, good. So to add some animations with out using interactions, we can just use trans transitions down here. So first of all, we use an opacity transition with the standard 200. We are gonna add a transform transition with a little bit more duration, like 500 milliseconds. And we keep it easing here. If you want something more aggressive, happy to change it. Play around. Okay. So next background color, we also give it the same 500. We will also want this to be the same timing, then a background position, also a 500. And here we go, I think that's it. Yes, look, let's look at it. Wow, 
that looks exactly how we wanted it. And let's check the devices. Almost. We can fix that real quick. Here comes the power of my setup. So what are we having here? We have the container form. We're going to move this a little bit smaller, maybe to one REM. That already looks much better. And that's exactly why I wanted it. Yes. Huh. And that is responsive design power. Perfect. Looks good. Here we go. We're done. Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Ciao.